Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel, Grocery Haul. Let's jump right in. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? If y'all are new to my channel, my name's Shakima. I'm a single mom, I have four children. Two girls, Alana and Shmika. Two boys, Trandon and Jackson. A fur dog, her name is Gracie, and I have a fur grand dog, his name is Acro. Now actually, only two of my children still live at home, Alana and Jackson. They are my youngest two children. Shamika lives out of state. Jack Trandon lives out of state. Shamika is moving out of state, out of state. She's on her way to California uh, very soon. She will be attending Stanford in the fall. So that's crazy. Man, just to say that, like you hear Stanford and she was doing something today and she's like, Mom, you see Berkeley. I'm thinking that's stuff I hear on TV. That's not stuff that actually... I identify with personally, but yes, I do identify with that now personally. How amazing is that? But anywho, you chimed in for the grocery haul, you guys. Whole30, we're going into our third month of Whole30, I think. Um, my budget today was $60. I did go over, but I had to get, I had extra money. I had $20 extra, so my um, grocery bill ended up being $81.02. I shopped at Aldi. There, there, it was not a good Aldi day. Alrighty, you guys, so let's jump into this grocery haul, see what I got, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about a meal plan. Um, I didn't buy any, well, I bought, a, I bought sausage, but that's like for breakfast, because I didn't buy any breakfast in that meat stock up haul that you already saw, and I'll link it somewhere, somewhere. You know how G always says, tap this little eye right here. I don't know where the eye will be. It'll be somewhere up here. Um, but anyway, I am going to uh, show you what I got, then talk a little bit about a grocery haul and figure out, um, I, mean, fig I mean, a little bit about a meal plan and then figure out, you know, how we're gonna move forward. I don't think I'm meal prepping today because we still have meat. So we're gonna use up the meats that we have. So no meal prep today. I think though, we have a, a rotisserie chicken that we are gonna throw in the, in the oven because it's already done. And we will do that. And then we'll have some green beans, I think, and cauliflower, something of that nature. We might even have some potatoes left from last night. But I do want to share with you what I picked up and a meal plan. Alrighty, you guys. So here it is. This is $81. It's actually $88 because I got almond butter from Harris Teeter. So let's jump right in. I got uh, two bags of spinach. Uh, Alana had her nutrition appointment today, and one of the things we are going to do is implement way more greens. So I did two bags of spinach this time, and then we're still making food for the dog as well. So um, I wanted to make sure that I had enough stuff. Spinach was $1.19. I picked up two more things of coconut milk, $1.82. This 100% apple juice, 95 cents. Picked up these cracker things for Jackson. Um, they were 75 cents each, and I got two of those. Picked up two of the grape tomatoes at 145. Jackson asked for grapes, so I got these red grapes. They were 149 a pound. Um, for Gracie, I got white rice. Um, I know somebody said try quinoa, and somebody else said brown rice. We're doing white rice. This was a dollar 85, and it's uh, three pounds. Then I picked up um, three things of raisins at 99 cents each. Picked up some of the unsweetened applesauce, that was $1.19. The fruit cups, tropical fruit, mandarin oranges and yellow peaches, $1.59, $1.55. Um, yellow onions, $2.39. Bananas, I always forget to see how much the price was per pound. Um, olive oil, $2.59, I got two of those. That almond butter, that was $6.99, I got that from Harris Tito, it just drew it in. The small fingerling potatoes or the little mini petite potatoes were $2.99. This um, chicken breakfast sausage was $2.99. And then the Italian chicken sausage was $2.69. I got two of those. We like to fry those up with a potato, and that is like a breakfast. Gala apples were $2.99. And then the Yukon Gold uh, yellow potatoes were $4.29 a bag, and I got two of those. We like the yellow ones better than the russets, even though the for a 10 pound bag of russets, it was $4.29. I paid twice as much getting the yellows, but we like those best. Um, 
toilet paper, 49 cents each. So I got four rolls, of, four packages of that. And then we got two watermelons this week at $3.99 each. So watermelons are coming down a little bit in price and that was helpful. So we'll cut one up, leave one, and then probably two or three days and then we'll eat the other one. Me and Jackson eat, uh, Jackson and I eat watermelon. Um, oh, bone broth. I found chicken broth, that was $2.99. And then beef broth was $1.65. This is the bone broth for chicken. That's why that's a little bit more expensive. So there you guys is $88. $88. $88 a moon ago used to cost me, I mean, I used to get like a ton of stuff, but that's okay. Thank God for what I have. And thank God that I have meat. So um, I didn't buy any meat with the exception of these little sausages. These go in the roof fridge and uh, we will share with you exactly what we're planning for meals. All right, so I'm inside of my fridge. This is pork chops. So we do have a few pork chops left. We have some of the salmon cakes, which I'm gonna do some collie rice with that, the tuna cakes. And then we have this rotisserie chicken that is going to go into the um, oven for dinner. Uh, this is just some chicken we pulled off the bone. We're gonna add this to Gracie's rice because um, we had a, another chicken. We didn't eat all of it, but we're gonna add that to Gracie's meals. A little bit of um, cantaloupe left. We'll finish that up for dinner. Okay, moving on. So um, tonight is probably gonna be chicken, green beans. But tomorrow's lunch will be pork chops. Um, this is Gracie's food. And then um, a little bit more chicken. So we're gonna cut up all that, all this extra chicken right here and throw it into Gracie's food. I do have some cabbage. So we'll probably have cabbage one night with the um, mm, cabbage. What can we have with cabbage? I think I'm gonna do pork chops and apples if I have more pork chops. Hmm. I've got apples. Okay, let me think about this. All right, you guys. So I'm working in my um, Live Rich Planner because it does have a weekly meal plan. So today's the 26th. I think we're gonna do rotisserie chicken. Oh, that's supposed to be for dinner. And we're gonna do some green beans. All right, tomorrow is Thursday. The kids are planning to do a youth group thing. So I'm thinking, I still have to cook. Tomorrow's lunch for sure will be the pork chops and then we'll be done with pork chops. Okay. Um, tomorrow's dinner. Hmm. We'll probably have leftover rotisserie chicken. So we're going to do chicken and rice soup. And it is summertime, but we can still do a soup. It's no problem. Um, so we'll do chicken and rice soup. We'll pull the rest of the chicken off that bone, chop it up, uh, put it in the pressure cooker to kind of break it down some. And then we will um, do cauliflower and uh, just make it like a creamy soup. Moving forward, I know I want to do a stuffed pork chops with like apples, spinach and apples. And I'm actually going to try to make like a cream spinach using the coconut milk and a little bit of xanthan gum to thicken it and some uh, nutritional yeast. I'm going to try that out and see. So um, I'm going to try, let me see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 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 Friday. Mm. Okay, Saturday for sure, I'm going to grill some chicken wings. Because I and I'm gonna make a whole 30 barbecue sauce. Okay, then I'm trying to think what else I have in that freezer. I've got drumsticks. Okay, we have some ground beef, so and we have zucchini. So we may do um like spaghetti with zucchini noodles. 
So I'm gonna put down uh, spaghetti with zucchini noodles because we have sauce. Um, what else do we have? I got ground pork and ground beef. I may see if I can find a whole 30 like a meatloaf. I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate. I'm gonna make myself a note. Investigate meatloaf. Whole 30. Because people make all kinds of recipes. I mean you can you can you can find it somewhere. So um chicken and green beans, chicken and rice soup. Grilled chicken wings with barbecue sauce, zoodles, or like a spaghetti, and then a meatloaf. It's probably a good amount of things. I know on Sunday we're going to have rotisserie chicken again. We don't mind eating chicken. We're, we're okay eating chicken. My kids don't mind eating chicken. If they do mind, they don't say anything. And then we'll, of course, just have whatever um, leftovers. Yeah. That's, you know, that's just what I'm thinking for right now. I don't, I always don't have a big um, meal plan. I do know for breakfasts, I'm really, I usually do a banana with almond butter and, and raisins, but I'm going to try to switch that up a couple times a week and I'm getting ready to be off from work too. So I'm going to keep my breakfast is very low carb by doing like eggs and sausage or eggs and whatever meat we had left over from the night before because I wanna definitely go low carb in the morning because I'm gonna be um, walking. Um, and so I wanna keep that, um, keep it low carb as much as I can. So I'm gonna say, um, usually I have a banana, almond butter, and raisins. Um, the kids usually have leftovers or they'll end up with an egg or something, but we wanna do eggs and sausage. So um, yeah, it's 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 a little iffy because I'm I'm subject to change. For me, you know, I don't always stick to the meal plan because I'm a creative in the kitchen. I'll see what I have and what I can throw together. And I'm like, oh okay, let me bam bam bam, and I change my mind and and it just goes like that. And I'm okay with that. I know some people aren't okay with that, but listen, it works out for Shakima. So. There it is, you guys. Um, meal plan, grocery haul. Put the groceries up here in just a minute. I think that will be lovely. And then, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it. Yeah, I'm going to put these groceries up. You can hang out with me while I do that. And then that's going to be the end of the Alrighty, you guys, so there it is. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.